look at you and it's easy to see You are that someone I've been trying to meet I got you everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is me alaina so today is 23rd of september and after coming back from school i completed my hindi homework as my exams were going so i didn't get time to complete now let's dive into the main thing of today that is completing my entire chemistry syllabus in a day so i have decided to start with chapter number 4 that is carbon and its compounds and ending with chemical reactions and equations So let's begin. Recently, I gave a poll on my Telegram channel where most of you wrote like you've all faced difficulty in chemistry. So what I do is how I study chemistry. First, I see a one short lecture, and after that, I read the textbook NCERT textbook line by line. And I have a habit of learning the things by the technique of active recall. So I read the chunks, understand them, and write it in my own language. I am also solving the index questions that are given in the purple colored box because some questions also come from these boxes. For making compounds and Lewis dot structures, you must be thorough with the valency that you have already studied in grade nine. And also, don't forget to make your own notes by seeing a one-shot lecture. I have completed carbon and its compounds. Now I was doing the chapter chemical reactions and equations. There are a lot of activities in this chapter so I will suggest you to write them in a sheet of paper. I also practiced some questions of balancing. And it took me around 16 minutes to do the stuff. And here I was revising the last topic that is corrosion. After reading the NCERT and solving the index as well as the back exercises, we must solve PYQs because most of the questions are repeated from it. For this, we can refer to our score hundred book of fun and only creativity. It also includes revision cheat sheets, and I was revising my entire chemistry portion from them. I really find them helpful, as you know, in a very short period of time, you can revise the entire portion. I find these sheets really helpful during the last minute revision. The most interesting thing about this book is that it also includes concept maps. You can revise the entire chapter. It is given in the form of flow charts and also includes pictorial representations as our brain tends to remember more picture format things than the textual. Each and every important point of NCERT is included in these concept maps. I really like it. Even the reactions are given. It also includes a trend analysis chart, so you can solve this book as a chapter-wise PYQ book as well. Here, after revising the entire portion, after reading the NCERT as well as reading the notes and the concept maps that are given in the score hundred book, I started solving the, all the chemistry questions for the CBSE 2024 boards. I really find this book helpful as there are clearly bifurcations given for chemistry, physics, and biology. And also, it won't work if you only read the NCERT until and unless you practice the PYQs and the index questions. So I will recommend you to solve as much questions as you can. I told the same thing in my previous video as well. So if you follow these things, you will definitely be able to overcome your fear of chemistry. For me, I really find it very interesting after reading the theory and solving the questions. because if you don't solve questions you won't be able to understand where you stand and how much concept clarity you have after reading the textual things solving pyqs is really helpful as here we need to apply the knowledge that we have gained from the, the ncert and basically it sharpens our mind and also do you know a fun fact in cbsc most of the questions are repeated from the pyqs only So you will be in a benefit if you solve the PYQs. And what else do you need if you are getting revision cheat sheets, concept maps, as well as PYQs in only one book? After this, you may refer to sample papers as they are also coming. We must solve PYQs as well as sample papers. Our creativity did only told we should solve three PYQ question papers and the three sample papers. This will help us to enhance our practice. Here I have completed the entire chemistry portion and I will be evaluating my answers now. 
answers with notes are also given in this book so i scored 30 out of 32 i made one mistake in assessing and reasoning question my long answers were correct but i forgot to mention two important keywords from the chapter carbon and its compounds the question i mean the question was of one mark so that's why i have deducted half of marks for not writing the proper keyword it is a good way of writing the answers and then evaluating it it helps us to identify where we stand now the time was 10 44 pm and i started it at 6 so thank you so much for watching do subscribe for more